friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Holly of RenewalFitCoach.com. I'm a holistic nutritionist, a personal trainer, and a doTERRA wellness advocate. And I can tell you in all of my years of helping people to improve their health and lose weight, I don't know if I've ever had a client who wasn't dealing with stress and anxiety. It's such a common issue and that's why a lot of my recent videos have been on things like foods that reduce stress, essential oils for stress, and different ways to manage stress relief in very natural and healthy ways. So in this video, I'm gonna be continuing on that topic and talking about foods that can actually contribute to stress. I'm gonna give you seven food groups that are linked to high inflammation, stress, and negative emotions that you want to either avoid or drastically reduce from your diet. First group is meats. This would include processed meats like bacon, salami, chorizo, hot dogs, sausages. The second group is baked goods. So things like pies, cookies, cakes, and other desserts. Another common one is packaged snack food. So this would include things like potato chips, crackers, pretzels, granola bars even, which you may not typically think of, candy, candy bars, things like that. Another one is convenience foods. These also come in packages, but these are more things like soups, noodles, TV dinners, frozen meals, sauces, and fast foods. Another group is fried foods. So things like french fries, fried chicken, tempura sushi, empanadas, samosas. You'll also wanna reduce your use of refined oils and trans fats. So things like margarine, canola oil, corn oil, peanut oil, and other oils and fried foods. The last group is refined sugars and carbohydrates. So you're gonna find these in things like white breads, tortillas, pastas, pies, cookies, cakes, things that have added sugars in them like cookies and the pastries that I mentioned before, soda, ice cream, and basic table sugar. One additional group, though it's not a food group, is alcohol and caffeine. These initially give you a, a feel good feeling, but then they leave you worse off than before you had them. And another factor with these is that they can interfere with your sleep. And when you're getting poor quality sleep, you're not gonna be able to manage your stress as well. All right, so I realize you may be thinking, Holly, you've mentioned everything that I love to eat. What is even left to eat now? And I understand I'm not telling you to take everything that you love out of your life. Instead, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to improve and upgrade the foods that you already love to help reduce your stress. But first, if this video is helpful for you, if you're liking it so far, please go ahead and hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe. Your support means a lot to me and it does help me to continue to make these videos for you to help improve your health. There are some really simple ways to simply upgrade the foods that you already love. So if you love pasta, for instance, you normally eat white pasta, try swapping it over for maybe a brown rice pasta or a quinoa or a lentil pasta. There's a lot of varieties out there now that you can find at different stores that have far more health benefits, they're less processed, and some of them even include some vegetables in there. So you'll get far more health benefits and your body will be able to use them more efficiently. You can do the same with swapping white rice for brown rice or quinoa swapping out white bread for a whole grain or whole wheat bread, and so on. If you can just find a little bit more natural version of what you already eat, or even mix, if you're not quite ready to switch from white rice to brown rice, what if you do half and half? Cook a little of each, mix them together, so you still enjoy the texture and flavor, but you're getting more nutrients in there. If you wanna eat some of those meats that I mentioned before, then just try and find a more natural version. You can find much more natural options now that don't have so many colors and preservatives in them um, in terms of things like sausages. Go for options like chicken breast, um, lean steaks, so leaner cuts of meat instead of the really high fat and highly processed ones. If you like other sugary sweet desserts, try making some of your own at home. You can make things like brownies and cookies with ingredients like honey, stevia, or monk fruit as sweeteners instead of white processed sugar. This little trick of swapping out some of your favorite foods for healthier alternatives and upgrading these foods to make them better for you is one of my favorite things to do with my one-on-one -on -one clients. It's also been one of the most impactful things for me, my own personal weight loss and maintenance. Because this allows you to still enjoy foods that you love and get that same comfort feeling from them but without all the negative stress creating effects. 
Also, one other tip I have to give you as a holistic nutritionist and personal trainer is to make sure that you include fitness in your everyday life, some sort of daily exercise. All of the stress and anxiety that we tend to feel can really build up. And if you're not moving your body, there's nowhere for it to go. So getting out for at least a walk or doing a run or some strength training activities can really help to release that stress out of your body, calm your body down, and will even produce endorphins that will help make you feel a little bit happier and calmer. And remember, while your unique challenges and stressors are unique to you and they're hard to change, you can change the way that you react to them and you are empowered to fuel your body with foods that will help to manage your stress. If you need a little bit more help with this, if you're still struggling with your diet, your nutrition, or even emotional health around things like weight loss, then contact me at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com. I would be happy to give you a free consultation or you can go ahead and sign up for one-on-one -on -one nutrition counseling. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you and blessings on your fitness and health journey.